Hi, we're going to do Lewis dot structures. Now, just the beginning, the foundation, explaining it. Lewis dot structures are our symbolic way of representing how electrons come and share in a covalent bond. So you recall covalent bonds happen between a non-metal and a non-metal. So our um, Lewis dot structures, we use these for covalent bonds. Um, and we want to represent using electron dot how those electrons come and share. Uh, so best way to show you this is just jump in and, and do some examples for you. I want to start with a really easy one. We're going to start with hydrogen gas. Okay, so we've got an H2, two hydrogens. A uh, hydrogen has one valence electron. Um, so I'm going to put, uh, if I were to do electron dot, this is how I draw it. One electron for each of those hydrogens. Now here's the deal. Um, Two electrons coming together and sharing makes a bond. And the way we represent the bond is with a line. So two electrons sharing is a bond. And we'll draw the bond in between the atoms that share the electrons. So we look at our hydrogen here. They each have one electron. Um, they're each going to share those electrons. So we'll have the electron here, electron here. They'll come together and share. And when they share, that is a bond. So that's how you would draw the Lewis dot structure for hydrogen. Now hydrogen is a little special. It's in the 1s um, energy level and subshell. Um, so it maximum can fit two electrons. It can only fit two electrons. Hydrogen and helium can only fit two electrons. Um, so this is very, very stable. Here's the deal. This hydrogen right here, it senses both electrons. So it has um, the energetic stability, it has this sense that it has a full 1s energy level and subshell. Um, likewise, this hydrogen right here, it has a sense of having a full subshell, the s. Um, it senses both of those electrons and so it has the stability of being full and stable. So hydrogen keeps us in mind is special. It only needs two electrons total to have that full uh, valence shell. Uh, that, and that's the one S that only fits two. Now, everything else on the periodic table other than our hydrogen and helium, if in order to have a full valence shell, they have to have eight. Oops, sorry. <laughs> they have to have eight electrons. And so you'll recall when we did ions and counted valence electrons, um, the outermost energy level, our S and our P, um, that's going to be the very, very outermost energy level. You have two electrons in the S, six electrons in the P, two plus six is eight. Um, so our noble gases, those all have eight valence electrons. They have a full octet is what it's called. An octet uh, just means eight electrons in the valence shell, in the valence shell. Now that is super stable. So when uh, atoms come together and share electrons, the drive always is going to be stability um, because it takes the light, least amount of energy. When we do Lewis dot structures, these basic ones, we are always driving toward an octet. How can electrons share to get an octet, eight electrons? Um, so let's start um, again, kind of basic. I'm going to take uh, hydrofluoric acid, HF. Okay, first thing that you're going to do is look at the electron dot. So let's write this down. Do electron dot. Okay, so we've got our hydrogen has one valence electron and we have in our mind hydrogen special. It only needs two electrons, not eight electrons to have a full valence shell. Fluorine, uh, look at your periodic table, has seven valence electrons. It's in the 17th group. Uh, it's a halogen. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, and now I double up, five, six, seven. Okay, now those paired electrons are super stable. Fluorine needs one more electron right there to reach the octet and to have all, um, all eight electrons. So here's how it does it. The hydrogen is going to share an electron right there with that fluorine. So I write it like this. We're going to have the electron, that unpaired electron from the fluorine share with the one electron from the hydrogen. Remember two electrons together is a bond. So this is how you draw it. Nice. So that is the Lewis dot structure for a hydrofluoric acid. Now again, driving this home, 
the hydrogen, it senses both of those electrons. So it has the stability, the sense of having a full valence shell, one, two electrons. Now fluorine, by the same token, it senses those two electrons and thinks that it has the sense that it belongs, both of those electrons belong to that fluorine. So it has a sense of two, four, six, eight, eight electrons, super stable, that full octet. Let's do a couple more. I wanna do two more. These are really common compounds that we use. Um, water, <laughs> water is a huge one, H2O. Okay, so we've got two hydrogens. There we go, two hydrogens and one oxygen. Oxygen has six valence electrons. One, two, three, four, double up, five, six. Okay, I see two of our paired um, sets of electrons and then I have two unpaired electrons. So oxygen, it needs two more electrons to get to eight to have the octet. Oh, I can see it right here. There's the solution. There's one electron, there's another electron. I'm going to actually use um, different colors on this. Let's take my oxygen. I'm going to rotate it a very classic way that you see it. I'm going to put my two lone pairs, um, those paired electrons up on the top. Um, and then I'm going to do one electron here, one electron here. So I just rotated my box a little bit. Don't let that throw you. I just want to draw this the way that you'd see it in a textbook. Now, the hydrogen is going to come and share an electron, one hydrogen sharing with this electron, and then this hydrogen will share with that electron. Okay, two electrons, that makes a bond. This is going to become a bond. So if I rewrote this whole thing, you've got oxygen with your um, two sets of paired electrons and then the hydrogen. Kind of looks like Mickey Mouse. He looks like Mickey Mouse. Sometimes you'll even see um, like an electron cloud drawn around those lone pairs and it even more looks like Mickey Mouse. But that's where it comes from is the Lewis dot structure. And again, let's check it. So this hydrogen senses two electrons, perfect, full valence shell. That hydrogen senses two electrons, perfect, full valence shell. Now the oxygen, let's count it. Two, four, six, eight electrons, it fills the octet. Let's do another one. I want to do ammonia for you. So we have NH3, nitrogen has five valence electrons. So one, two, three, four, five. There's my five valence electrons. We've got three hydrogens like this. There are my hydrogens. Okay, each hydrogen needs one electron to have a full um, valence shell. And the nitrogen, I have five valence electrons, so I need three more. Three more to have that full octet. Oh, I can see it. There are three electrons. So one hydrogen is going to come and share with each of those unpaired electrons. Um, so let's do the hydrogens in a different color. I'm going to do the hydrogens in blue. So this hydrogen will come and share an electron. The next hydrogen will come and share an electron and the last hydrogen will come and share an electron. Two electrons make a bond. So we're going to have a bond between each hydrogen and the nitrogen. Now cleaning this up, I'll rewrite it. So I have nitrogen with the three hydrogens. Now I drew this a little bit on an angle. Um, again, that's the way that you'll see it written in a textbook um, because of what's called Vesper. And don't worry when you're starting out doing um, Lewis dot structures, don't worry about the shape. Um, you'll learn how to do the shape when you learn Vesper. Okay, so that would be your ammonia. And so there we have the very, very beginning steps of Lewis dot structures. The central atom, and it's going to be the atom with the most valence electrons. Um, you're driving, um, you're working toward getting that to eight total electrons around it. Um, and you just share electrons until um, it has eight electrons. The exception again is hydrogen. Hydrogen only needs two electrons to have that full valence shell. Okay, so there's the very beginning. Good work.